One of my favorite creatures from Greek mythology is the nymph. Delicate, beautiful, and feminine. Today's makeup is inspired by the water nymph. Since so much of the face will be covered in colorful makeup, begin first by priming the skin. This ensures the colors don't fade over time as quickly. Take a powder foundation and apply all over the face. I'm not aiming for full coverage here since the focus will be more around the eyes. Time for some color. Take a light blue shimmery powder and buff in all over the top half of your face. Make sure to work the color into your hairline and slightly contour your cheekbones as well. Now take a strong vibrant blue shade and apply all over the top of the previous shade. We're deepening the color here, but still using the lighter shade from before to create a gradient effect. Moving on to the eyes. First, apply your favorite eye primer to ensure your colors will be saturated and long-lasting. Then, take a frosty pale blue shade to apply to the inner half of your lids. Next, take the same vibrant blue from before and this time apply it just to the outer half of your lids. And once done, take a fluffy blending brush and blend away. This look is all about soft gradients, so blend, blend, blend. Now taking a white shimmery powder, apply to your brow bones to help highlight and blend your eye makeup better into the rest of the makeup. Then take a deeper blue shade and apply just to the outer corner of your eyes, kind of like creating a V-shape to help give your eyes a little bit more depth. Then, of course, taking a blending brush, blend away. Take some of the blue down to your lower lash line to smoke out your eyes just a little bit. And take a black eyeshadow to the outer corner of your eyes to make your eyes seem even bigger. Thanks to all that blending, sometimes the previous highlights may not be as obvious as they were before. So I'm going to go back and add a touch of white powder to my inner corner of my eyes. Before I complete the eyes, I'm going to throw on a soft pink blush to my cheeks, but in a patting motion to avoid smudging the blue powder. And then pat on some highlighter to your cheekbones. I'm going to go back with the blue from before and fill in any gaps close to my hairline. For this step, make sure to use a smaller brush to ensure the color is more concentrated. Now for the brows. Taking a brow pencil, fill in any sparse areas and extend just a bit. Now this is my routine based on the needs I have, but your brows may be different, so just customize as required. Taking a black pencil liner, line your upper lash line and waterline, and slightly wing out the liner on the outer corner of your eyes. Time for mascara. So yep, apply a generous coat of black mascara to your upper and lower lashes. And since I have such short lashes, I'm going to apply a pair of false lashes. Now time to make this look sparkle. Carefully place lash glue where you wish to place your gems. And then with a wet cotton bud, pick up a gem front face up and then place on the glue. Simple. Last step for the face, and feel free to leave this part out. Apply silver glitter to the sides of your nose. I did this to try and create a more alien-like appearance, which I personally like for the nymph look, but this look is fine without it as well. To help emphasize those silver lines, apply white shimmery powder along the bridge of your nose. Finally, the lips. Apply a nude beige lipstick, and then take some of the blue powder and pat it to the center of your lips. And the look is complete! Thanks so much for watching another chapter from my Book of Fables. Hope you enjoyed the look, and I will catch you all in next week's video.